Hello everybody. I went in a summer vacation in a seaside area in Greece and guess what I found? I was walking down the street until I finally reached my hotel room. I walked upstairs and saw something very spectacular on the roof of the hotel. I realized that in the roof of my hotel was placed a gigantic chessboard and instantly I came up with a brilliant idea. I thought that thanks to this gigantic chessboard, I would be able to share with you my content in 3D and 2D simultaneously. Let's see how. My idea was to show the chessboard while sharing a 2D board at the edge of the screen. So it's high time we begun the episode. For everything is ready and all these gigantic pieces are set up. Hey, look at this knight. So excited am I. So the subject of my episode is the pseudo-sacrifice of Legal. By the way, Legal is considered as the best chess player of the mid-18th century according to Wikipedia, so I assure you that the trap will be great. So we begin with e4, best by test as Bobby Fischer says. Black naturally is going to play symmetrically with the straightforward response, pawn to e5. White chooses to play knight f3, a move that attacks the e5 pawn with a tempo. Now let's swap the side of the board on the screen, because black played knight c6 which supports the pawn. At this point, white decides to bring out the other knight, so knight c3 follows. Now it becomes interesting as the opponent plays pawn to d6, transposing to the Philidor opening. Strong though the pawn chain is, it leaves a weak dark square bishop. Thus white plays bishop c4 aiming f7 at the open diagonal. That's a very common position of the Philidor or the Italian transposed. Black has many options. In that case, bishop g4 was played which pins the knight to the queen. The whites are under a lot of pressure. However, now it becomes more interesting as the trap begins with an outstanding sacrifice. Knight captures e5. After this knight's sacrifice, the white queen and knight are hanging, which means that the queen can be captured. In fact, Legal was sacrificing the queen to get a forced checkmate. That's the main point of the trap. But wait, why is it called a pseudo-sacrifice? Basically, pseudo comes from the Greek word. Pseudos. That means fake. But let's see why it is a fake sacrifice. So I capture the queen with the bishop, and now let's see the analysis bar. As you see, it's made in two. To be precise, it's forced because after this move white plays, bishop captures f7. Check to the king. The king has solely one square available, so he is forced to go to e7. So he does and indeed, it is a maiden one. Now observe the position closely. Only one minor piece we did not use, the knight on c3, which makes the fatal move, knight d5. Checkmate. A brilliant checkmated in solely seven moves. Mission succeed. The black king is finally dead. By the way, if you want to know the name of the hotel, it is Daphne's Club Hotel Apartments, and I assure you that it is great. You can visit it if you want. My YouTube channel supports it, and of course you can push the subscribe button. Dear spectator, you are the one who supports it, so it depends on you if it's gonna grow.